I am so excited. We are going to a restaurant called Hogtown Vegan. They have two locations in Toronto and I have never been there before. It also happens to be one of the coldest days of the winter so far. I woke up this morning and it was negative 22 degrees. I don't even know what negative 22 feels like. I've never experienced that kind of cold weather before. I'm from California. This is pretty cold, but I'm just really excited because this place is like bar food, comfort food. It has so many good looking dishes on their menu and I'm just ready to eat a lot of delicious things. This is really exciting. Let's get some food. our delicious meal at Hogtown Vegan. What do you think? It's delicious. Really? So good. Really? Yeah. Like everything. Yeah. The mac and cheese, your mm. burger, mm. the chicken and waffles. Mm. Man, that was good. What was your favorite? Like rank them from best. Chicken and waffles. Okay. Mac and cheese, burger. Wow. Yeah. The mac and cheese, I, I liked it a lot. Yeah. It was good. It was interesting. At first, when I first tried it, I didn't think it was like cheesy enough. And then the more I ate it, the more I liked it. It yeah. definitely grew on me. Yeah. What did you think about the ambiance? Nice and casual. It was just a, like a diner, mm. um, like comfort food that had a very comfortable environment. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The staff, like she, the, our, our waist staff, she was really cool. She is really nice. Yeah. In the summer, they have a nice outdoor patio. So if you're looking for outdoor seating, that would be really good to check out in the summer. What did you think about price point? At first, I was thinking 15 bucks for chicken and waffles. I'm yeah. like, damn, it's pretty steep. But now that we've been doing this for a while, I start to realize 15 bucks is kind of it's kind of normal, if not even on the lower side. Yeah. I we I think we paid higher for other places. Fifteen bucks, it's all right. Yeah. So it's actually pretty pretty decent price for, I guess just in general, just going out to eat in Toronto. Yeah. 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 Just for an entree. The plates didn't look that big. I was gonna order more. I didn't even tell you this. I, you <laughs> I was <didn't>. like, <laughs> I was like, oh, this isn't enough food. We need to order like a side of poutine or something. Ooh. And then when we finished, I was so full. Yeah. So actually, I thought that the portions were perfect. And we only yes. ordered two entrees. It's just enough. Yeah. Just enough. I do hear some mixed reviews about the restaurant in general, just like some people are saying that it's not healthy. Of course, this is like, I think anybody who eats fried food or like burgers and fries should know that obviously that's not going to be as healthy as a salad. That just seems like common sense. But like for vegan food, I just thought it was really fun yeah. and like a really good treat tree yeah yeah and just different than like a lot of other stuff that we've had and like our lifestyle we just cook at home a lot mm. so we we cook kind of on the healthier side i guess we don't use that much oil and, yeah. and things like that we also eat the same food kind of over and over again so <laughs> to us this is like great this is something we've we don't normally have like we never have like really um a burger yeah at home we have a lot of sandwiches but not really a burger and we definitely don't have chicken and waffles yeah so, true so that's why i liked it a lot yeah 
It's, you loved that chicken and waffles. Hey, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> I personally thought the burger good. was much better. I thought it went burger, mac and cheese, chicken and waffles. But, I mean, to each their own. I think yeah. we ordered really well. Yeah, for <laughs> ordered sure. ordered the things we liked. <laughs> that was good. That yeah. was good. That was and good. I felt they actually had a lot of things on their menu that I really wanted to try. You know, you go to some restaurants and you're like, okay, there's a couple good looking vegan things or whatever. This was like their whole menu. I was like, ooh, I want to try that or that or that or that. So I would be down to go back as well. So overall, I would say worth it. Yeah, for sure. Worth it. For sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah, definitely. Highly recommend if you're in the Toronto area, check out Hogtown Vegan. And I think that's it. That's it. Yeah. And with that, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe if you like this kind of video, but also like some vegan cooking things. I do those too. You have anything else to say? No, that was good. I was good. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that chicken and waffles. Oh my goodness. You'll be thinking about that for days. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, with that, I will say see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, we can take this world by storm.